Hello and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. How many times do you have an image URL but no idea how to display it in Swift UI? Because the default image, which is the image view, does not really support to pass in the URL. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that. For this example, we are going to be building our own image view control and we will call it URL image. But before we do that, we do have to create a service that will allow us to download the image. So I'm going to add a new Swift file and I will call that file image loader because this particular service is going to allow us to download the image. And let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and create a class called image loader because this is going to be downloading an image and we will also be conforming to observable object. And you're going to find out why we are doing that. We are going to go ahead and create a property published var downloaded data. The downloaded data is the data that you have downloaded from some sort of a URL, hopefully most probably an image. We have a function called download image, which is going to take in the URL as a string. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the actual URL. This is just a string. We need to get a URL which is using the URL structure. So there we go. We got the URL and we're calling it the image URL. Now we have many different ways of downloading the image. We can use a URL session dot shared dot data task and data task, we can pass in the URL, which we already have, which is called the image URL. And for the completion, we can pass in, we can get the data. We are not really doing anything with the response, so we can ignore it and we get the error, if there is any error. Don't forget to call resume or else your request is not gonna go through. Now, next up, we will go ahead and unwrap the data, only when the error is actually nil. So we're going to make sure that we are unwrapping the data. Once the data is unwrapped, we can go ahead and call dispatch dispatchq.main.async. And right inside there, we're going to go ahead and set up the downloaded data to the actual data. And this has to be done on the main queue or else Xcode is going to complain that it is a warning that you should be doing this on the main queue, which we are. So this is our image loader, which is responsible for downloading the image. But what about the URL image Swift UI view? Let's go ahead and create a brand new file. We're gonna select the Swift UI view and you can call this anything you want. I'm just gonna call it URL image. This will create our basic template for the Swift UI view. Yeah, let's go ahead and what the template looks like. You're just going to see that it contains the text hello world and that's pretty much it. In order to create the URL image, we will ask the user to pass in the actual URL. We will also ask the user to pass in the placeholder image. This placeholder image will be displayed while the actual image is being downloaded. And we will create the property called observed object which in this case will be our image loader, equals to image loader. Great. Now we have to go ahead and create the initializer for the URL image. In the initializer, you're going to be passing in the actual URL. You're going to be passing in the placeholder, which is also string. And if you don't pass in the placeholder string, then we are going to go ahead and take placeholder, which will be a name of the image that we will add later on. Finally, let's go ahead and set up the URL equals to URL self.placeholder as placeholder, whatever the user has actually passed. And now we can go ahead and call the download image function. So self.imageloader.downloadImage and pass in the URL, which is self dot URL or URL. You can already see that the URL image in the previews is complaining. 
because now you need to pass in the URL image or just the URL. So let's go ahead and pass in the URL. We already have some sort of a URL, so we can go ahead and pass that. There we go. And now at least it won't really complain at this point. Now the next part that we need to do is we need to make sure that we are returning an image right over here on line number 25. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and unwrap our downloaded data from the image loader. Image loader dot downloaded data. Now the reason the image loader downloaded data is going to get called again, the first thing is that the image loader is marked with observed object. And if you go inside the image loader, you can see that this particular property which is the downloaded data is also marked with published, which means that whenever we set this property, then the view is rendered again because an event occurs because of the subscription. And you can see that we are setting this right over here at the bottom whenever we get the actual data. So with these changes, we can go back to our URL image and we can make sure that we return an image. This image will rely on UI image, which is UI kit image. And we can pass in the UI image over here, passing in the data, which we already have unwrap version. And I can go ahead and unwrap it over here. Let me know that if this is wrong to do it because once you have the data and it is unwrapped, there's no way for the UI image to actually fail the only time the UI image might fail is if the data is actually nil. But in this case, the data is actually not nil, unless I'm mistaking, or there might be some other scenario that I'm not covering, the UI image will always result in something. We're also going to call resizable. So our image is resizable, meaning we can resize the image. Else if the image is not found or, well, not really image is not found, but if the image is not uh, data is not yet downloaded then we can go ahead and return the placeholder as resizable also and that's it this will create your url image which will allow us to pass in the url of the image and get it displayed let's go ahead and check it out that how we can see how we can uh, use this so i'm going to go to the content view and instead of the text that I'm displaying right now over here, we can use the URL image. All right, so let's go ahead and use it. Instead of the text, I'm just going to go ahead and say URL image. And this is our control. We can go ahead and pass in the URL. So make sure that you pass in a valid URL. If you don't pass in a valid URL, then, well, it's just going to display like the white screen or something. And now I'm passing the URL. I still have to run this application. So make sure that you click on the run. So let's go ahead and click on run. And hopefully it's able to download the actual image instead of showing you the placeholder, which is inside the assets. And there we go. So you can see that we are able to download an image and display the image. Now, how would that work if we are using some sort of a list control? So let's go ahead and see. What we're going to do is we're going to create a list of posters. So I can go over here inside my content view and I can simply create a list of posters. These are all hard coded list of different posters. Now, instead, when we are displaying a list control, I do have to use list self dot posters. And I will go ahead and go through this, the ID for that will be self because these are just actual strings. I will get poster in hand. Then I can say URL image. Once again, I can use my own view. I can pass in a different placeholder if I want to, but I don't really have any other placeholder. So I'm just going to pass in the URL uh, for the image in this case, and the placeholder will be used as placeholder, which is inside the asset. So this will be poster. And I can go ahead and even set the aspect ratio to be fit. There we go. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's go ahead and actually run it to see that if it was able to download the images in a list. And there we go. You can see all the images were downloaded in a list.
Now these images are not really cached. So if I had to run the application again, these are downloaded again. That's a different story. If you want to cache, you need to build a caching layer that will cache all of these images. But right now to keep things simple, we have downloaded all the images and we can display all the different images. All right, so this is it. This is a URL image control or a view that you have created from scratch in Swift UI. Now WWDC is coming up shortly next week and it will be interesting to see if these controls are added to uh, the Swift UI library or not. And it will be uh, very interesting to see what other controls and views, predefined views that Apple provides us. So making our job much easier. Thank you so much. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. One of my courses is about SIF UI, Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Devices. It's a 16 plus hour course and it covers everything you need to know about SIF UI. It's going to start from the very beginning on how to make list and navigation. It also has a book available for free for you, MVVM in Swift UI, which you can download and use. And then it's gonna jump into MVVM design pattern, weather application, the coffee ordering application. It's gonna talk about the bindings. It's gonna talk about the property wrappers, integration with core data. And then it's also going to tell you how to create the clone of Apple Stocks application, as well as the integration with MapKit, which is amazing. This is the complete course on Swift UI and the best-selling course, as you can see, with more than or close to 4,000 students enrolled. So make sure you get this course. But if you're interested in other courses, check out the YouTube description and you can get links to many of my different courses on Udemy. Thank you so much for your continued support and I really hope that you enjoy the course.